welcome to my channel and um, we're gonna do two really quick um, hauls felt small hauls and one Sephora unboxing and yes I am completely makeup free I just got back from the beach this morning um, uh, some friends of ours uh, some friends of mine from work um, we go to the beach overnight and just sit and look at the stars and chill and then we come home in the morning so I have actually not slept since Friday since I woke up for uh, class on Friday morning so anyway but I am fresh fresh faced and this natural light is everything okay so really quickly from Ulta makeup revolution banana powder I've heard really good things about this this is a 1.47 ounce container um, it's a setting powder it is going to be maybe replacing my Laura Mercier deep translucent setting powder we'll see how that goes because I'm not really wearing a full face of foundation anymore so we'll see how that goes and the next thing I picked up from Ulta again two really quick small hauls um, a body cleansing oil in the Ulta brand and it as you can see it was on clearance um, and that's why I got it but um, I do like cleansing oils because they're just they just leave your skin so soft so that's that from Ulta um, I had to go to Sephora yes I actually did have to go I do, I do need a replacement mascara. So I'm trying, you know, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know my holy grail is the Hourglass, um, I'm sorry, the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. So I took my mascara off yesterday at the store. I tried on two different ones. I tried on the Hourglass. I was not impressed with the volumization of my eyelashes as you can see they're pretty non-existent when you don't have anything on but um, Kathy recommended in the store that I try this from Lancome and I had not curled my lashes because I literally took my mascara off in the store wiped my eyes off and tried these with the little temporary ones that they give you this curled my lashes I put on like oh, I just lathered it on like it was just no tomorrow I did two really thick coats and it looked fantastic so yeah of course I had to try that um, we'll see how that compares to long term to my better than sex waterproof this is the waterproof version the second thing I picked up was a new mattifying setting spray from cover effects and this is a setting spray I needed something to set my makeup she also recommended that and what she did was she sprayed um, something on this side of my face I can't remember even what it was and she sprayed that on this side of my face and it was a, a mistier spray so I patted it a little bit just with my hands because it was really wet um, but it was matte like nobody's business I was like wow and it was just over my face because I didn't have any foundation or anything on them. We had taken some stuff off. Anyway, that stuff worked fantastic, so I had to buy that. And so we're gonna be comparing how that wears over time, over the hours and hours that I work, and we'll see how it goes. So fingers crossed on that. Now, let's get to my September Sephora unboxing. If I'm in a slightly different position, it's because I went to go get this little sample. Um, I've seen a few ladies review this online. I'm not trying to wear a heavy foundation anymore. Um, so I'm looking at either a tinted moisturizer or a BB or CC cream, um, but I need it to be matte. So what I have here is a, just a sample of the Lancome Skin Feels Good um, Skin Tint or something like that so I'm gonna be trying that this looks kind of dark but the other one was really too light so we'll see how that wears how that goes if the color doesn't work then we'll try something else but um in what I'm looking for right now because I'm trying to let my skin breathe and and become its best um, I'm trying to stay away from foundation for a little while anyway let's get on to the play box Cute bag, cute, 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 cute. 
want to try these innovations. I, um, IRL, I know that's supposed to stand for something. I am so bad at that. I really would. I don't know what that means. Next Gen Beauty. It's for the millennials. I looked at the bag, I looked at the book, and I really try not to do that. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. You get your 50 um, points. And 50 extra points when you buy something. Sorry if I'm stuttering or going slow. I, again, have been awake for, it's nine something, 24, five, 28 hours. So I'll be sleeping really good as soon as I film this video. The first thing out of the bag is ooh, Marc Jacobs Highliner in Earthquake. So I'm going to open this because I don't know what that color is. Highliner and Earthquake. It looks like a brown, which makes sense um, because it's called Earthquake, but it's a really nice brown. Deep, deep, deep brown. Um, I'm not going to swatch this because I'm probably going to give this to someone. <sighs> Maybe. I'm really thinking. I have so many eyeliners right now, but you know how you always want to try something else from a different brand? It's kind of where I'm, what I'm feeling with them, but I've tried his highliners before, so I'm, I still might keep it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the next thing is the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. So I just bought a mascara, and I get another sample. Which you know, I am a, I'm a mascara junkie, so of course I'm going to try this one too. Instantly amp up lashes for big volume, saturated black pigments, plus polymers make lashes appear thicker and bolder. Nourishing jojoba seed oil prevents uh, helps prevent clumping and flaking. Her brush um, hugs every lash, and it has a picture of the brush. So that's cute. Cute little packaging too. Hmm. Let's see what this bottle looks like. I'm probably gonna use this before I use the one that I just bought. Cute. That is adorbs. Sephora doesn't have bad mascaras, but they don't have fantastic mascaras in my opinion, based on my experience. So I will try that one first. I'm my Too Faced is really close to being all used up, so. Um, that's why I'm, you know, probably going to try that right away. And also, I know you're supposed to change your mascara every three months. I do not do that. I use it until it is so dry that you can get nothing left from it because I don't buy $5 mascaras. I buy high-end mascaras. So I'm going to use it till it's gone. Just, just so you know, I'm not advising you to do that, but that's what I do. The next thing in the bag is the... Ole Henriksen Truth Serum, which I love, love, love. I love this brand. If I could just do his skincare, oh, I've got to get his more, his mattifying lotion. Okay, so yeah, the Truth Serum is, um, I was going to say he's on the Truth Serum line. It's on their line with their orange packaged products. This is a line of products. So these are um, skin brightening products. The green line is uh, mattifying, so oil control. And uh, the Truth Serum Collagen, I should have put my glasses on. Collagen something is what I can, all I can read. <laughs> Let me look at the book for this one. All right, this is an effective serum formulated with vitamin C that brightens and hydrates skin, again, the, the orange line is the vitamin C line, and it does um, it is for brightening. Uh, how to use dime size amount, clean, dry skin, and absorb before following with moisturizer. Okay, okay, so yes, fab, fab, sub, blah, fast absorbing formula, visibly firm skin with collagen, and revitalizes with vitamin C. Orange and green tea extracts nurture skin, while aloe juice softens and conditions. I have not tried anything from his line that I do not like. I'm just gonna leave that there. That's all I'm gonna say. I haven't tried anything I haven't I haven't liked that I can recall. Because every time I get it, I'm excited. Next thing in the bag is this Clinique. I'm loving this new tripod that I got on Amazon. Love, love, love. I don't love my new background, but you know what? My hair is so wet. Okay. 
Um, and this is a, what did I do with the bag? A pro, uh, oh, dramatically different hydrating jelly. Oh, it's a gel moisturizer. That's interesting. Go with Glow with the Flow, a weightless oil-free water jelly that cares for skin's moisture barrier and protects it from pollutants. Okay. A moisture jelly, oil-free water jelly. That is interesting. So it kind of reminds me of the Belief Aqua Balm because that's kind of a jelly texture. Um, and it's supposed to be lightweight and oil-free. Doesn't really move that much. It's not sticky. It goes on really nice. Hmm. I'm not going to try that this week because I'm trying this new primer. And if when you try something new, you need to introduce your skin to one new thing at a time. Um, just in case you have any reaction. If you know it's, if you have one good, one new thing, you know it's that one new thing. So don't try a new moisturizer and a new primer and a new foundation and a new setting spray and a new setting mist or setting powder all in the same day. Because if you break out, you don't know what it's from. So just my advice, experience, heard from other people, you know. Oh, and look, the Believe Truth Cream Moisturizing Balm, clinically proven to retain moisture for up to 26 hours. Nice little sample there. I like their brand. I'm currently using an eye cream from them that I got in, was it last month's Sephora box or some previous box? If you saw my last video, you saw my huge um, box haul extravaganza that I had of samples for months and months on end. Um, I did actually distribute all of the, almost all the products. I even gave away some of the things I said I was going to keep, um, but I did distribute them to my friends. So it was, it was, it was very fun. Very fun. And the very last thing in the bag, I think, yes. Oh, I didn't show you the bag is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I've heard good things about this. I do have my holy grail of the Hourglass Male, ve male Veil Mineral Powder Primer. I told you, I'm sorry, I apologize, I'm, I'm very tired. Um, so I might try this one, but I'm gonna lean on the no side because I like the veil so much and I have all these other products I need to try, but I might, I, you know. I did keep some other primers, so we'll see how how it works. I'll, I'll kind of try and work that into rotation. This is the bag. It's so cute. It's plastic. <laughs> and on the back, it says, opens bag, pours out samples, high five self. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the essence of getting your Sephora play box. It is a lot of fun and I really enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you received anything different in your box. I know they are kind of trying to gear them towards your age bracket, I think, or your skin type. Um, so if you did not get the Truth Serum, what did you get? Um, if you did not get the oil-free moisturizing jelly, 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 I was trying to say it all French-like, um, what did you get? Did you get something for combination skin? Did you get something for dry skin? Um, a, a moisturizing oil maybe? Um, just let me know. Anyway, I am so excited to try everything. I actually just took a shower and deep moisturized my hair. and So I am feeling so much better. We had a fantastic time at the beach, but we did get rained on because there was a storm out in the Gulf. Um, a little bit, a little bit. And it wasn't until way late in the night, but just being there was just so relaxing. Anyway, again, thank you for watching. That's the last I'm going to say it. Have a great day. Let me know what you got in the box. Comment below um, and click like and subscribe. Thanks.